Hello everybody, Mr. Mindio here. Today I'm going to be doing a review of Orion, the B&M Giga Coaster at Kings Island in Mason, Ohio. Alright, so the ride starts with a small piece of straight track into the ride's 287 foot tall lift hill. This lift hill is actually quite fast and quite silent for a B&M lift hill. Alright, as you crest the lift you get a great view of the rest of the park and you get to look down over this 300 foot drop at 91 miles an hour. As you bottom out, you get some gray out inducing positives, and then you go into the wave turn where you get a light pop of airtime. Then you go into the valley where you get some more positives. You climb up into the ride's reverse treble clef, you get a tiny pop of airtime. Then you go into one of my favorite parts of the ride, the ride speed hill. You actually get ejected on your seat, which is rare for a BNM. Then you go into the ride's camelback where you get some nice floater airtime. Then you go into the ride's helix, the Orion's bit. On this helix, you do start to gray out some of the times, but not all of the times. All right, after this, you dive under the ride's lift hill, and then you go into one of my favorite elements on the ride, some refer to as the mini hive dive. You get some great ejector. After that, you pop up into the final break run where you get some nice floater if you're sitting in the back row. And that concludes the ride analysis of Orion. All right, so what do I think about this ride? I think that this ride was a fantastic attraction and it really helped improve Kings Island's lineup by giving them a Giga Coaster, which many enthusiasts have been asking for for years. I also love the section of the park that this ride is in, the newly rethemed Area 72, which is the retheme of the ride's old X Base section of the park, which used to house Flight of Fear and Firehawk. This area looks really nice, and all of the attractions and restaurants in this area actually fit together, which in my opinion is a huge problem all of the other themed areas at Kings Island have. And this coaster is my second favorite at the park behind Diamondback, but that does not mean this ride is a bad ride. This ride is fantastic. The mix of positives and negatives on this ride are amazing. The pacing is some of the best in the park. And the view from the top of the lift hill is absolutely fantastic. But that being said, this is not a perfect attraction. At the start of the season, it did have a very slight rattle. But as the season progressed, that rattle seemed to get absolutely improved to the point where the ride is glossy smooth this ride also feels quite short because it only has a couple elements and how they are taken so fast at 91 miles an hour it really makes the ride feel incomplete all right so with all of that out of the way what do i give the ride out of 10 i give this ride a 9 out of 10 I give it that score because I think it's a fantastic ride full of air times and positives, which are some of my favorite experiences on a ride, but I do take away one point from it. I would have given it a perfect score because the ride feels a little bit incomplete. Also, just before this video ends, I want to put my two cents into the debate on whether or not this is a Giga Coaster. I think that this ride is indeed a Giga Coaster for the same reason Phantom's Revenge and Apollo's Chariots are considered hyper coasters. Sure, the ride isn't 300 feet tall, but that drop into the ravine is 300 feet which I think classifies it as a Giga Coaster. All right, thank you guys very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, a like below would be appreciated, but you don't have to. Also, please consider subscribing. Like I said, with the like button, you don't have to, but it would really help me a lot. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.